This is a Confederate bullet made out of gold. We find a lot of scrap gold metal detecting and uh, we're in the Civil War so I decided my father decided to make a three ringer Confederate bullet out of gold. Weighs 20.4 grams. What I wanted to show you with this bullet is the effect of spinning magnets. The effect that spinning magnets has on this bullet. Maybe the impurities of the gold, because I believe it's 14 karat gold, I'm not sure. But uh, there's something interesting I thought everybody would like to see. These are one inch by three quarter inch N42 neodymium magnets. The configuration is north, south, north, south, north, south. Get it up to speed and uh, you can see the effect it has on it. If I raise it up a little bit, the gold is more dense in here. It's solid on the lower portion and then on the upper portion it's hollow so the denser the gold the more it spins see as I let it down it'll loosen up and as I raise it up Like I said, it could be the impurities of the gold. I don't know what exactly gold is. You know, 18 karat gold, I don't know exactly what's added to it. But uh, that could be what's making the bullet spin like that. It's not exactly repelling or attracting Okay, I've got this neon sign transformer. It's 12,000 volts at 30 milliamps. It's 120 volt. But it has a current limiting button right here that keeps tripping. I've had a lot of questions about why I haven't been making videos on high voltage and vacuum experiments, Tesla experiments, stuff like that. And this is the reason why. I ordered this and it was cheap, didn't cost me, but ten dollars plus shipping it come up to like thirty two dollars but it's almost useless useless unless I found out a reason or a way to bypass this um, I don't know if taping it would just work I mean I don't want to set the barn on fire just trying to do experiments but uh if anybody's got any suggestions you can let me know I'll go ahead and run it for you and show you how it trips All right, I'm gonna cut it on and show you. See, there it goes, a trip right then. And what I have to do is uh, click the reset button right there, and it starts again, but like I said, there, there it goes, it tripped again. I don't know if maybe it's a, a bad transformer, or, I mean, I'm not sure. This is a pulse capacitor that come out of a x-ray machine. I'm going to be using it for the Tesla coal. Max is 25,000 volts. And it's 
0.028 MFD. So that's a pretty big capacitor. That's at 40,000 volts. So this is a big capacitor. Uh, it should do the trick without having to have PCB capacitor banks. I used it on prior experiments, but I don't have no footage of it. So this is the only thing that's holding me back from doing more experiments with the vacuum jugs and Tesla coils. So if anybody's got any suggestions, let me know.